Hello everyone, this is Teacher K and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be having another video about our Quarantine Things series. Things you can do during quarantine, maybe teaching, having fun time with family, friends, or even church mates, doing distance learning classes, holding virtual meetings such as Bible studies or life groups. So for today, we will talk about the best apps for online teaching and specifically it applies to me as a physics teacher. And good news, they are all for free. So today, I'll walk you through the process that I have to go through in teaching online. From planning to execution and even until assessments. Number one for preparation, I use Google Classroom. This is where I post the agenda for the day. Materials such as videos, worksheets, assignments, etc. can be posted here and it can even be scheduled at a specific time. Here, I can also set deadlines for submission. Number two for icebreaker is quizzes. It can serve as a diagnostic test for you to gauge how much the students already knew about this topic or have learned about the topic if this is not your first Day. The thing is, there are a lot of pre-made questions already per topic. As for me, I am an IGCSE physics teacher and there are a lot of resources per topic that I can use. I just have to type in whatever topic that I want, say for example, GCSE physics, electromagnetic waves, and there you go, a lot of question sets will come out. And I just have to choose which one applies best for my own class. And here's a fun part, the graphics, the sound effects, the memes are so lit. The students will really love it. Quizzes also has power buttons like immunity, time freeze, 50-50, making it extra fun for everyone. I really tell you the students love it. Number three, discussion. Um, for discussion, I use three apps. One is YouTube, second is Loom, and third is Gmeet. For YouTube, I have this very trusted GCSE channel, which I really recommend for my students because his discussions are very straightforward and really on point. Actually, that is one of my goals for this channel, that I will be able to discuss physics concepts in a straightforward and effective manner. So if you want a more straightforward and targeted GCSE physics topics or discussions, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. So going back to YouTube, if the video for that specific topic is already available in YouTube, I just share that link for everyone to see and I provide an exit pass for my students to fill out before they leave our class. From that, I will gauge how much the students have learned from that video or if there are other concepts that I need to reinforce. So for reinforcing, I use another app which is Loom and that is the one that I will use for my pre-recorded discussion. Again, my role here using Loom is not to introduce the topic to the students. I am just here to reinforce. So for Loom, you can have the option to choose screen plus cam or cam or just screen. So you just have to hit that record button and after recording, you can get the link provided by Loom itself and share it for your class. Well, for me, I usually prefer pre-recorded discussions. For me, it's hard to do live classes because I know some of my students have unstable internet connection. And an advantage of using pre-recorded lessons is that the students have the option to pause it or replay it when necessary. I even have some feedback from my students about this setup. So they prefer this one. Third is G Meet or Google Meet. I highly recommend meeting the students live via Google Meet because this is where the students can ask me questions or clarifications from the topic. Well, you can use Zoom or any other platform, but for me personally, my students and I are already using the Google ecosystem and it's more convenient for us to use Gmeet. Number four, experiments. I use Fevox and FET simulations. Fevox is a very useful app that can measure certain variables such as pressure or speed of sound, etc. It's really interesting. They also have their own channel that you can check out so that you will understand how to use it or navigate and maximize that very powerful app. Another is FET simulations. It's for free also and you have a lot of simulations available there. 
and you can use it for your own virtual laboratory. And number five, interactive activities. I recommend Padlet and Jamboard. Padlet is like a big cork board where you can put sticky notes or pa virtual papers for the students to write their own ideas so it can be really collaborative. Another is Jamboard. Well, imagine Jamboard as an online whiteboard where the students can collaboratively solve word problems and they can do it simultaneously. And you share the screen to everyone using Gmeet, you can see, everyone can see the progress of each student helping out in solving the word problem. Number six for assessments. For me, it will be Google Forms. Well, for me, this has been the easiest and most effective app for assessments. Here you can have multiple choice and free response questions. And like me, if you have word problems in your assessments, you can also choose the option for upload file. Well, for me, I just ask my students to write their solution on a piece of paper and take a picture of it and upload it in Google Forms. Number seven, extra tools for physics, or maybe you can use it in math also, or portion of biology is Google Online, Protractor, and Ruler. Well, these things really worked wonders for me. Just a little bit of a background story. When the quarantine happened, the topics that we will be discussing is about ray chasing of light. Here we have to draw the incident ray, the reflected ray, refracted ray, and you also have to measure the angle of incidence, reflection, angle of refraction, and a lot of us, including me, don't have a physical ruler and protractor. And because it's quarantine, we can't buy our own physical ruler and protractors. So it really worked wonders. Big thanks to Google for providing such wonderful and amazing tools for us to use in this season. So those are the best apps that work for me in teaching physics online. If you have any questions, suggestion, clarification, or if you want a detailed discussion on how I used a particular app in my lessons, please feel free to comment down below and watch out for my next video. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye!